just open the heart to the Creator. Say, use me. Let me become one with you. Not just as an intellectual statement, obviously, though it can begin at that level. But it's got to be this, mm, that I want nothing more. Because really, the choice point of that level is the only thing that you want, that you're going to take away from that to yourself, is the purity like you need to want the purity of merger with something beyond your perceived sense of you the purity that you know is required and is the result of that surrender you need to want that purity more than you want anything else in life so if you sit in meditation you go deep intuitively just go deep and then when you're deep when you get a sense of your eternity, it's easier to make that choice because you're not filtering it through a lifetime of temporary stuff. So you're seeing life, you're seeing the incarnation in context to the eternal self. And the eternal self has no real motivation because it's already perfect and timeless and beyond space and time and events and people. So then, you're very available to the highest vision within the relative of the illusion of creation. So now it becomes much more natural to give. You can even just visualize, visualize yourself. Visualize it blending with that eternity, becoming that eternity. And you can visualize earth, for example, and see and hear and feel the deep yearning of so many or practically anyone that's incarnate for clarity, for love, for harmony. And you feel that and you realize from that eternal point of view that if there's anything I would devote myself to that has form and time and space to it, it would be the benefit of all. It would be the accelerating the evolution, the enlightenment, of this civilization that I have the privilege now to be a part of 